Good evening. I'm Guy Bennett. I'm the founder of the College of Kinesiology. And I'd like to take a moment of your time to talk to you about a very important, interesting topic, which is distant or remote kinesiology. So this is where we apply kinesiology over a distance. Back in the 1970s, uh, when kinesiology looked like this, it was discovered that kinesiology could be delivered on a surrogate. So that means you could use one person as a surrogate for another person who may be in another location or may be incapacitated and unable to participate. In the 1990s, self-muscle testing started to become popular where individuals would actually perform kinesiology on themselves to offer therapy and make decisions about food and nutrition and such like. Then in the early 2000s, uh, it became quite popular for people to do surrogate balancing. So if people are in remote rural areas or um, isolated or um, in another country, unable to access their kinesiologist, their therapist could potentially balance them remotely through their own bodies. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. These days, instead of using phones, we use <coughs> the internet and we can communicate through FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, etc. And we're able to talk to each other and the therapist is able to muscle monitor the client just like they would in a normal session where they'd be communicating and muscle testing. So while this sounds fantastic, for a lot of people it's hard to conceive. And that's why it's good to talk about other forms of science where this type of thing has actually been proven. So there's a, a proven scientific phenomena in physics called quantum entanglement. And in 1935, uh, a group of scientists um, came up with a paradox called the EPR paradox and later showed it experimentally. And what they did was they collided an electron and a proton together, smashed them together, and that electron and proton disappeared, then reappeared as two electron, sorry, two photons traveling in opposite directions at the speed of light. One travelling that way at the speed of light, one travelling that way at the speed of light. And what they discovered was that if we altered this photon slightly, the, the other photon travelling in the opposite direction would instantaneously, at the same moment, alter in exactly the same way. And so this was a paradox because it was believed that nothing could travel faster than the speed of light. Yet these two particles, or two photons, had a direct relationship with each other that was instantaneous. And it wouldn't have mattered if they were a million light years apart, they would still be relating in that exact same moment. So when we do kinesiology, we're inducing a type of quantum entanglement between the practitioner and the client. So when we do kinesiology, when we do muscle testing, the muscle testing is actually a subconscious response. So when the muscle locks and unlocks, it's actually coming from the subconscious. It's not coming from the client's conscious mind. And in kinesiology, we believe that the subconscious response from the muscle testing interacts with all different levels and aspects of the being. And we call that interaction the innate awareness. So we're connecting with this thing called the innate awareness, which I sometimes call field intelligence. So when we do kinesiology, we're accessing the specific needs and wants of the client through this connection, firstly to the subconscious through the muscle testing, and secondly to the innate awareness. In order to understand this better, I like to use the analogy of an iceberg. So with an iceberg, we have a surface portion and we have a submerged portion. The surface portion we can uh, use as the metaphor of the conscious mind, which is sort of bobbing above the waterline. 
and the, the greater mass which sits under the water is the subconscious. So when we do kinesiology, a lot of the work we do is in relation to the subconscious. We're, we're identifying and releasing uh, belief systems that aren't in alignment with our highest potential. And so as we release them, we're letting go of the ball and chain that holds us back in our life. Now that iceberg is surrounded by the ocean. And in this metaphorical understanding, we're using the explanation of the ocean as the unconscious. Now the water and the ice are the same substance, just in different states. And the unconscious mind, or the ocean, surrounds all the other icebergs. So Carl Jung, one of the founders of psychiatry, believed that the unconscious mind was collective, that it was shared by all humans. So when we do distant healing, we're consciously making a choice or decision to perform kinesiology. So the practitioner will interact with the client and the client will interact with the practitioner and they'll set the time and a date for a kinesiology distant healing session. So with that intention, there's a quantum entanglement phenomena occurring that's enhanced by particular goals and intentions set with the muscle testing and any blocks blocking that quantum entanglement process are being released so that it can happen wholly and fully. The practitioner then accesses their muscle to be tested and those responses are interacting with the subconscious mind of the practitioner. Now because of the permissions and how that balance has been established, that the subconscious mind of the practitioner can migrate through the unconscious to connect to the subconscious mind of the client, which was prearranged for the kinesiology session. Then the information from the subconscious can feed back into the subconscious through the unconscious into the practitioner's body and change the responses in the muscle. In this way, we can do distance healing. After the session is complete, the intention with the muscle testing can disconnect it so there's no contamination or transference that occurs when it's done correctly. So considering where we all are in the world today, where we're isolated and remote, and it's almost impossible to get good therapy, it's a great time for you to try distant healing with your therapist, your kinesiologist, and get the help that you need to traverse these interesting and challenging times. Thank you.